Okay, so um, this is the first of three lessons. Uh, we're going to talk about acids and bases. Uh, before we do anything, uh, we're going to learn how to name them. So we're going to use IUPAC nomenclature again, uh, except this time it's going to be for acids and base. So you have a set of rules that you must follow. And let's find out how to name acid and base. Acids are pretty complicated to name, uh, but bases are a, bit li a little bit easier. So starting with acids. Okay, first of all, you need to know that acids are all aqueous. That means acids are dissolved in water. Okay, so you have to have aqueous as your state if you want to call this an acid. If you don't have aqueous, it is not an acid. So as a result, if you write a chemical formula, if you're an acid, you must specify the state symbol using a Q. If you don't do that, we do not name it using the acid nomenclature. We just name it normally. So acids are a special group of compounds. They have special rules. What makes them special? Well, acids all have hydrogen in their chemical formula. Okay, you have to have hydrogen, otherwise you are not an acid. Okay, the definition of an acid is that you must be able to release hydrogen ions. To do that, you have to have hydrogen ions. So acids must have H. So for example, HCl is your stomach acid. That will break, uh, break apart into separate ions, forming hydrogen ion and chloride ion. All of these are aqueous, dissolved in water. Okay, and there are two types of acids and they have different naming rules. So you need to distinguish between these two types of acids. The first type is what we call a binary acid. Okay, binary means two. What do I mean by binary? Meaning that it only has hydrogen plus something else another element or another polyatomic ion. Binary acids, they don't have oxygen in there at all. So if you see oxygen, it is not a binary acid. If you see oxygen, it will be an oxy acid, okay, acids with oxygen. So really there are two types of acids, the ones without oxygen, the ones with oxygen. Okay, you have to figure out which one. It's really easy to tell, just look for the oxygen. So let's start with the binary acid, the ones without oxygen. This is the easier of the two groups to name. Um, I listed here a few examples, HF, HCl, HBr, HI, H2S, H3P. Now the H2S, there are two hydrogens because sulfur is two minus. H3P, because phosphorus is three minus, you're gonna need three hydrogens. But all the other ones are halogens, so HF, HCl, HBr, HI, it's a one-to-one -one ratio. How do you name these? Very simple. Hydro, that's what you start with, because you have hydrogen. Hydro, blah, 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 ic, acid. Okay, just look at the names. They all have hydro in the beginning. The word ends with ic, I see followed by the word acid. Well, what goes in the middle, it depends on what the other element is. Hydrofluoric acid, HF. Well, fluoric for fluorine with F. If it's a Cl chlorine, it will be hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid, hydroiodic acid, hydrosulfuric acid, and finally hydrophosphoric acid. Okay, that's, that's basically it. Hydro, blah, 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 ic, acid. Okay, the blah, blah, blah depends on what you have. Um, keep in mind that uh, it's hydrophosphoric acid. A lot of people write phosphic acid. That's wrong. It's not phosphic, it's phosphoric. It's not sulfic acid, it's sulfuric. Uh, why is that? I don't know. That's just the name that the people came up with. You just have to remember it's sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid, and not phosphic or sulfic. That's it. That's quite simple. That, that's just binary acid without oxygen. That's the rule. Okay. 
it does get a lot more complicated though if you do have oxygen because you can have a various a numbers of oxygen and that changes the name and with oxygen you're going to have polyatomic ions and that's a big headache so let's take this slowly look at the first one hfo3 fo3 is a polyatomic ion called fluorite okay the name for the acid is fluoric acid because you have fluorate it's fluoric acid can okay, we follow so far the next row you have cl O3. So you change the F for Cl. Instead of fluorine, you have chlorine, but you still have three oxygens. So now that becomes chlorate. That's the polyatomic ion. ClO3 minus is chlorate. Name of the acid, chloric acid. You see what I'm saying? Fluoric acid, chloric acid. The next row, what do you think? Follow the pattern. You have BrO3. What is the name of the ion and what is the name of the acid, people? Can someone tell me? Nobody? Look at the pattern. You have fluorate. You have chlorate. Now you have bromine. You would have bromate. Thank you. Bromate. You see what I'm saying? All you have to do is change the first few letters to match your halogen. And of course, if you just follow the pattern, you have fluoric acid, chloric acid, bromic acid. Does that make sense, everybody? And then again, you follow the pattern. That last one, what is the name of the ion? Either uh, speak into the mic or type into the chat. Iodate, yes, that will be iodate. And the acid, you simply change the ending to IC, you have iodic acid. Okay, look closely at the pattern. The polyatomic ions, they all end with 8, A-T-E. They got changed to I-C. Okay, and all of these are halogens. So fluorate, chlorate, bromate, iodate. Fluoric, chloric, bromic, iodic acid. Now, you might be thinking, wait, 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 hold on a second. Didn't we have a fluoric acid like from the previous page, like the chloric acid? Let me go back. Look, did, don't we have fluoric acid and chloric acid here? Yeah, but no. This one, binary acids, the ones without the oxygen, they all start with hydro. Hydrochloric acid, hydrobromic acid. Whereas they, uh, these ones, they don't have the hydro. Okay, that's the difference. So there is a difference between hydrochloric acid and just chloric acid. Okay, you need to know that difference. Please make sure you don't get them mixed up. Okay, now it gets even more complicated. The next one. The polyatomic ion, SO4, is called sulfate that name simply becomes sulfuric acid. In fact, sulfuric acid is one of the more common acids. Uh, sulfuric acid is what's inside of car batteries. The next one, PO4, uh, what is the name of that and what is the acid? Can someone tell me? Following the pattern here. Do you guys know, know what PO4 is? Phosphate, thank you. And the name of the acid, therefore. See, that one is, uh, the spelling is tricky. 
Okay. Yep. Yeah, you guys are right. Phosphoric acid. It's not phosphic acid, okay? It seems like you can just take away the ATE and add an IC. But for some reason, uh, these people that came up with the rules, no, no, they, they want a phosphoric acid. Apparently, that sounds better. Or sulfuric acid, not sulfic acid. Okay, again, the pattern is your polyatomic ion ends with ATE. You replace that with IC. Slap on acid. Then you would have that was nitrate, nitric acid. Do you see how this works? The next one, CO3 is carbonate. Therefore, we have carbonic acid. And by the way, carbonic acid is what's inside of uh, soda, uh, like Coca Cola. It's bubbly, it's sour because, well, there's carbonic acid in there. That last one is a bit weird. Um, that one is acetate, uh, C2H3O2. That is the polyatomic ion acetate. It should be found in your table. So therefore, acetic acid. And acetic acid is vinegar, if you're curious. So look, ATE becomes IC. And then you do not add hydro. So these are examples of oxy acids. Okay, so to name an acid, you need to figure out the element that it has, if it's a binary acid, or the polyatomic ion that it has, if it's an oxy acid. Okay, so let's summarize this. HCl is hydrochloric acid. It's binary, the one on the left column. You need to add hydro if it's a binary acid. If it's not binary, if it's oxy, that means it has oxygen, you don't add the hydro. So you have chloric acid. Okay. On the left column, hydrofluoric. On the right uh, column, it's just fluoric. Hydrobromic, HBr, versus bromic, HBrO3. You have the oxygen. So compare the left column to the right column. The left column, none of them have any oxygen. The right column, they all have oxygen. So the rule is, if you don't have oxygen, if there is no oxygen, you need hydro. If you do have oxygen, you don't write hydro. You have to remember that. If you remember that, it's very likely that you'll get these right. Okay? So try to remember this pattern. Do not try to guess what the acid is. Always follow this rule. Let's do some examples. Um, I know some of these we've seen before, but there are only a number of acids we have in the world. So, well, a number that we can name easily in grade 10. So it's gonna be very repetitive. So example one, HCl, uh, notice that bracket AQ is present. You have to have the aqueous state symbol to call it an acid. So the question is, is there oxygen no, of course not. I don't see it. This H and Cl, right? So if there's no oxygen, you do need to add hydro. So you have to write hydro. Cl is just chlorine. You change the name to chloric. You put them together, hydrochloric. You slap on the word acid. Okay, do we have any questions? Okay, so I'll take a few seconds to write that down and we're gonna move on to example two. All right, here's another one. Write the name in the chat. Okay, first of all, answer the question, is there an oxygen? If yes, add hydro. If no, don't add hydro, and then type the name, please. Okay, thank you. I see one answer, that's correct. Yep, 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 I think you guys got it. You don't have oxygen, so therefore you need the word hydro. F is fluorine, you change that to fluoric, you put them together, you get hydrofluoric acid. Okay. Slap on the word acid at the back. 
Okay, yep, yep. All right, so let's move on to the next one. This one is a bit different. Is there oxygen? Why, yes, there are three oxygens here. Therefore, you do not use hydro. Okay, no oxygen, yes, hydro. Yes, oxygen, no hydro. Uh, that's always the opposite. So therefore, chlorate is the name of the polyatomic ion. You change that to chloric. Yep, there you have it. You guys got it. Chloric acid, very simple. That's it. No hydro at all, just write chloric acid. That's pretty much it for like grade 10 level of naming. Just ask the question, is there oxygen? And then figure out the name. So I think you guys are ready to do the rest of these on your own. So I'm going to ask you to do the rest of the examples for the acids uh, until the challenge question. And then I'll take them up one by one. So take a few minutes, uh, figure these out, and type the answers into the chat. So here's example four. After you've done example four, move on. H2S. Anyone got this one? Hydrosulfuric acid. Thank you. That is the correct answer. You don't have oxygen. So therefore, you need the hydro. Sulfur becomes sulfuric. You actually don't take off any letters. You just simply add the IC and you put everything together. Hydrosulfuric acid okay, are we ready okay another one this time do the opposite iodic acid what is the chemical formula Anyone? Okay, your time, I got it. H I O three. That's correct, uh, but you're missing something here. There is no hydro, it's just iodic. So that means it is an oxy acid. So this has oxygen inside the chemical formula. So iodic translates to iodate, and that is the polyatomic ion for iodate, IO3, one negative. To make it an acid, you slap on a hydrogen. You only need one hydrogen because it's one minus. Hydrogen is one plus. And also, please don't forget this. You will lose marks if you forget the AQ. All acids must have AQ in its name. So therefore, the chemical formula is HIO3 with the aqueous state. If, if you don't have it, then we don't name it iodic acid. We name it hydrogen iodate. Okay, do we have any questions so far? Okay, so number six. Now this one, you do have the hydro. So hydro iodic acid. Is there hydro in the name? Yes. If there's hydro in the name, then you know that this is binary. It doesn't have oxygen. So you look at the name, iodic. That means it's I. Okay, I negative. I makes a charge of one minus, so therefore you only need one hydrogen. And don't forget the AQ. The answer is just simply HI bracket AQ.
Okay, we're good. If you know this pattern, you can pretty much name any asset that you can uh, you come across, even if you've never seen it before. So, for example, this one. This is not real, by the way. Um, let's say there's a new element on the periodic table called awesome. Chemical symbol is AW. It is discovered that awesome forms the polyatomic ion that uh, AWO4 2 minus, and we call this awesomeate. What would the name of the acid H2AWO4 be? Again, this is fictional. But the point is you can name pretty much anything, just apply the rules. What's the name? Anyone can get this one, just type it in. Yep, that's good. You got it. Yep. Same answer. Okay, I think you guys get the point. So first of all, is there oxygen? Of course there is. So you don't add the hydro. Because the polyatomic ion is awesomeate, you simply change the ATE to IC. Just awesomeic acid. Okay, we're good. Again, just follow the rules. It doesn't matter what you get. The rules always work. All right, so that's it for acid. Okay, just remember the two rules. Do you have hydrogen? I'm sorry, uh, do you have oxygen? Yes or no? And then you, you name it either with or without hydro. Okay, so for bases, bases also have aqueous because bases are always dissolved in water. Bases also have hydroxide, OH, in their chemical formula. And the definition of a base is something that produces OH when they're in water. So for example, sodium hydroxide is the cliche base. Um, sodium will, uh, sorry, sodium hydroxide will produce sodium ions and hydroxide ions, and it is the presence of the hydroxide ions. That's what makes something basic. Okay, so this is all AQ. Naming bases, though, is very, very simple. In fact, I don't need to teach you anything. It is literally the same thing as naming ionic compounds. Absolutely no difference. Don't change a thing. Forget about the AQ in the name. Just the name of the cation plus the name of the anion. The fact that it's a base change nothing. Okay, so NaOH. Na is sodium. OH is hydroxide. Well, guess what? The name of this base is sodium hydroxide. You don't add the word base afterward. It's not like acid. You have to add the word acid. This one, no, you don't care. Just simply name this and pretend it's just a normal ionic compound, which it actually just is a normal ionic compound. So for B, SR is strontium on the periodic table. OH, that's hydroxide on the periodic table. There's two of them, but that doesn't matter because for ionic compounds, the names, they don't care about your charge. So that's just strontium hydroxide. You see, we're back to square one. We're back to naming ionic compounds all over again. So really, I, I didn't even need to teach you that. I just needed to tell you that these are bases. That's pretty much it. There are no naming rules for bases. It's the same as regular naming. Hey, please don't forget that. Acids, there are certain rules. Bases, none. Okay, and there are some common bases in this world. Uh, sodium hydroxide, that's probably one of the most common ones. Uh, calcium hydroxide, you have ammonium hydroxide, magnesium hydroxide. In fact, uh, you probably took that before. If, uh, that's an antacid if you have stomach acid, and that's giving you a heartburn. 
that's what you can get for from like a shopper's drug mart. You can take that and that should neutralize some of those acids. You have aluminum hydroxide, same thing. Sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, is actually a base despite not having hydroxide. Uh, why that is doesn't concern us in grade 10. Okay, we don't have to worry why sodium bicarbonate is a base. Um, it just is. Okay. Bases can have hydroxide or carbonate. It doesn't have to be hydroxide. So that's another type of base. So basically, you just name them the way you would name the ionic compounds. No difference whatsoever. Okay, and that concludes the lesson. It's a very short one. All we did today was we learned how to name acid. We learned how to name base. Acid are binary or oxy. That means you don't have oxygen or you do have oxygen. If you don't have oxygen, you add a hydro. You end with ic acid. And if you do have oxygen, you don't add the hydro. It's just ic acid. Okay. Bases are just like normal ionic compounds. All right, so that does it for the lesson. Please make sure you guys do practice and 